How are you? Hey. Good, how are you? All right, everybody good? All right, questions for Coach Cohen. Did you win back? I just uh, ran a couple gassers, <laughs> finished about last on all of them, so I'd say the answer is no at the moment, but uh, just trying to get a little conditioning in and take some of this weight off. What you see from day one? Solid. I mean, um, guys coming off a couple of days off, it was nice to throw and catch. I thought we threw and caught the ball fairly well. Um, did some good things in the run game. I mean, it's going to be one of those games. Um, and they've got some guys out, but they're, they are who they are. Uh, they're a good, sound defense, and we need to play physical, you know, SEC style of football. I mean, that's at the end of the day, we needed to defeat man coverage on the perimeter. Um, and I thought we did a good job of it today as a good start to this week. And guys came out with some good energy, so it was a good start. Are you always kind of curious how they're going to be when they come in and they've been off for a little while? Always. Practice yes. And then in that aspect, what's yeah, I mean, you know, when you have a long day of travel yesterday and kind of get in a little bit later, uh, but the guys were eager to get out here. Uh, you kind of felt guys itching to, to try to get on the field today. Everybody was kind of early getting out there, which is a good sign. Um, I, I thought the guys had some good energy, um, you know, the little bit of slow footed at times, just kind of getting back into it. But that's why we did some of the extra conditioning. And uh, I, I was happy with the way they came out and their their attitude, enthusiasm, uh, carried out through the majority of the practice. Coach, what does it mean to, to know, and you've known for quite a while, but what does it mean to, to know that Ray Davis is going to be there yeah. for you? And, you know, there's a lot of teams that are really being affected yeah. by the portal and by NFL. Right. What does it happen to Ray Davis back? And yeah. then just in general, what is it about the culture of this team that these other guys want to come back and play that one more game? Yeah, it's, it, it's a, huge, a huge deal for us to get Ray specifically back, a guy that can – uh, do great things in the run and pass game, right? He's, he's you know, done a great job for us being an asset, you know, leading the SEC in touchdowns. Uh, that's been huge to get Ray back. It speaks to the caliber of kid that he is. It speaks to his character um, and, and his passion for, for this program and for his teammates and for the community. So um, very thankful that he's, he's stepping in and, and doing this in, in, in an era and a time, as you mentioned, that a lot of people aren't doing this. Um, you know, he, he's somebody that I'll always uh, be grateful to, to have had the opportunity to coach. He's one of those impactful kids. And um, culture-wise, I, I think it's pretty self-explanatory when you have guys wanting to play in this game, wanting to finish this thing off the right way, regardless of wins and losses, records. Um, you're playing a high-quality ACC opponent, one of the teams that have won a national championship over the last 10 years that has Heisman Trophy winners. I mean, this is a great program that we're playing against. I think that that is something that adds to this. Um, and also having guys jump in the portal and then jump back out and come in. And I want to be a part of the program, I think, because of what Coach Stoops has brought to this program over the course of his tenure here. Um, guys want to be here. You know, you don't have guys leaving every, sec every single second. What's it like to see the guys like Luke Wilson? Yeah, it was awesome. It was awesome. I, I didn't have the opportunity to coach Josh, but man, what a pro, what, what a legacy that he left in this program. Uh, you can see the guys obviously are all drawn to him um, be, because of who he was, who he is, what he did for this program, but also what he's done for himself thereafter. And then to see Luke, uh, man, he looks lean. He looks lean and looks great. Uh, couldn't be more proud of a player that uh, had played guard his whole career and then moves to center. Um, and now he's a star in NFL center for the last two years, man. I mean, just, it doesn't get much better than that. Uh, one of the highest quality kids I've ever coached. Coach on the Clemson's defense. Yeah. They lost some guys after the regular season. Yeah. Still have Tyler Davis. <laughs> oh, still yeah. have Peter Woods. Yeah. Are those guys to deal with? Yeah, it's a young, they lost some of those guys, as you mentioned, but man, they've got a ton of really good, good youth on that defense. Uh, very well coached. They're, they're disciplined. They're very fundamentally sound, and, and they can fly around. They're very physical at the front, at the uh, first and second level. Uh, they're physical in the back end, really. I mean, this is a huge challenge. Really, when you turn this tape on, you're watching an SEC caliber defense. You're seeing a top 10 defense in the country run around. It's a huge challenge for us. We've got to do a great job staying on track on first and second down so we don't put ourselves uh, in third and unmanageable. That's when they're really... Uh, kind of at their best is when they got you in third and long 
and they're you know teeing off on you, playing man coverage behind it. That's a, that's a huge challenge. So we've got to do a great job on first and second down and also finish drives with points in the red zone. And their thing's stopping the run. That's, that's sort of what they do. Oh, they yeah. There hasn't been many teams that have run it very successfully on them. Some of the teams that have, have had a lot of quarterback scrambles or quarterback design runs. That's not really who we are. Um, you know, they, because they pack the box, they'll put seven defenders in. They typically like to have an extra hat in there for the run game. Um, that's something that we need to make sure that we're able to make people miss. If there is an extra hat, I do trust Ray to be able to make some of those guys miss um, and force them to tackle. So um, if they are going to pack the box, we do have to win on the perimeter, get the ball on the edge, and let our playmakers go make some plays. Big time. Yeah, it's a huge challenge for those guys. You know, I mean, obviously we finished the Louisville game off the right way, but um, we need to be more consistent, whether it be running the football or protecting the quarterback uh, in this game because they have elite players at all three levels of the defense. So um, when you have elite players and elite talent, we've got to be able to step up and, and rise to this occasion, which is a great opportunity for these guys coming off a big win against Louisville for us to go get this eighth win. Okay, folks, need, uh, thank you. Really yeah, thank you, thank you guys. Thank you very much. Appreciate you it, guys, for coming up. Do you think it's banned? How are you doing? Am I ready? All right, question for Trayvon. What's it mean to, some people will tell you it's sometimes good to take a little time off, mm -hmm. especially after a grueling season. What, what did that do for you guys? And what did you energize you coming up here today? I just feel like it did energize us. It's a long season, you know, playing in the SEC. You know, you need a little break after a while. And then just getting your bodies back under you just feels good. And then just being back out here with your your brothers and it's just always fun just because everybody it feels like the start of camp everybody's just excited to go out and play football again because everybody feels good you know yeah. you're, an, you're an edge guy but, mm -hmm. uh, you know, how, how, how much do you watch that talent play in the nfl and does his name still ring out Kentucky? yeah for sure i mean i was a recruit i was a recruit the year he the year he was here so i mean a couple years before he was here so i mean it, i've always like looked up to him just with him being who he is i always I, I try to watch him in the NFL, but you know he plays the same conference as the Titans. So, what was your, what was <laughs> I root for him, but not too much. <laughs> what was the general message to the team? Um, just today. Yeah, not necessarily word for word, but what, what was the sentiment of what he was talking to you guys about? Don't let just go out there, play for, fast, play fun. We know who we are. We know what we do. We some dogs. Just go put it on the field. Start fast. Go out there and go play ball. That's what it was. I try not to get caught up in like what they've done. Then I want to see what you're going to do now. Like what you're going to do for these 60 minutes when we go play you. Like I'm not worried about anything you did before because it's not then. It's now. So you got to live where your feet at. Everybody good? Cool. All right. Thank you, man. Appreciate y'all. Yes, sir. Yes. All right. Oh. Give me a second. Yeah, it's a little humid down here. Okay. All right, I'm ready. What we got? Eli, what's um, what's been, what, what's it like knowing you're gonna have Ray Davis for this one more game, and the fact that he declared for the NFL, but he still wanted to be out there one more time with you guys? I mean, that means a lot to us. He's someone who's contributed mightily in the run game in the past game, and so I think it just speaks to the relationship that he has with the guys that he wanted to play in this game for us, and. You know, he's risking the injury stuff and all that for the draft coming up. So it just means a lot to us that he's willing to sacrifice for us one more time. I guess the job is to give, give him some clear, way, clear uh, path to run the ball. Absolutely. Yeah, we're going to try and carve up some holes for him. Uh, what, what did that time off do for you? And just, and like Draymond said, it felt like uh, training camp, you know, all over again, like everybody's ready to go. Yeah, I think it just rejuvenates everybody. You know, the season gets long. We play a lot of SEC games, a lot of good teams, all back to back. So to have a, a few weeks off after going for what feels like four straight months since June and July when we first got to campus was nice. Everyone can kind of refresh, get away from football for a few minutes, finish out the semester, visit your family. And I think it just helps when we get back here, everyone's ready, excited to practice. What did you see out there today? Stay ahead in practice from your side of the ball. Yeah, I thought it was good. You know, we're a little more than a couple days into this game plan. We were working on a little bit when we were still in Lexington getting those practices in. So it's nice to still have a couple more practices down here, really put the finishing touches on things and get used to this Florida humidity a little bit. What about uh, Dan Luke Fortner? Yeah, it was great to see him. You know, I uh, played next to him in 2021 and haven't really spent a whole lot of time with him since, so it was good to catch up with him. And he's doing good things here in Jacksonville and really excited for all of our alumni who are doing well in the league. What did 
that mean to the team to see guys like Luke and Josh who, you know, realize everybody's dream and are doing well and, mm-hmm. and, and doing it for, you know, a playoff team last year and a contender this year? Is, it, is that an example of what can come out of the, of the hard work? Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, everyone talks about, you know, working hard and doing the little things right, doing things the right way when you're off the field and on the field and the results that culminate from those things. I think being able to put two faces to the name and actually see a real life example of two guys who have done those things to a T is really important. You know, everyone can, everyone talks about it, everyone says it, but to hear firsthand from guys who have done it and are currently doing it, I think speaks more volumes than any mantra you can put up on a sign inside the facility. Am I good?